Thursday, 105 begins. Very windy last night, um, pretty much gale throughout the night. Had a good night's sleep though, strangely. Wake up, woke up a few times, but straight back to sleep. Went for a toilet stop about half ten last night, and on the way back, in that direction as we're looking, I noticed there were a couple of lights, actually three in the end, and there were three guys who were still out walking, which is very unusual, and they were heading towards the hut. So I held my iPhone up, helped them guide them towards the hut, and obviously they were using the snow poles as well to help themselves, but it turns out there were three hunters, and very, very strange to have people arriving so late at night in the pitch dark. So day 105 will begin soon. It, it's actually a, it's a tricky day because it's, it's wading upstream by the side of a stream, but often in it um, for the first six Ks. So I'm really pleased when that's over with. I'd head to a hut called Manuka Hut or maybe a little bit beyond, but that would mean camping. So we'll see what the situation is when we get to Manuka Hut and see if there's room there. It's only the other side of that hill. Already we've had to wade through the stream twice, feet soaking, no other way around it. It's got to be done. It's what we expected, so no complaints. Uh, but here we go. So I spent the last hour just wading through the stream, up and down, heading uphill. But we've done over 15 crossings at the moment. Soaking feet, really cold water, toes are freezing. Um, I'm going to put the phone away now and put it in a dry bag because I, I reckon it overslipped a couple of times, so just going to play it safe. Just stopping for a short break. Um, it's eased off a little bit in the last kilometre, just been going over stones, less crossings. I think we've done the bulk of the crossings now, we've been going for over 4 k's from the hut and we're about 4.5 k's from the top of the saddle, which is still 500 metres elevation from here, so it's, it's going to be a bit of a climb. So um, I'm pleased we have fresh legs for the first part of today, because it has been tough. It's been a tough little battle through the river very cold feet. The sun's started to get up a little bit now so I feel a lot warmer um, but we've just got to keep battling on. The track's taken us away from the river crossing, St Kevin's, after over 50 of them and it's taken us up here. Just over a kilometre now away from the It's nearly 1500 metres so a bit of climbing still to do, well over a thousand now, in fact over 1200 now but a lovely view when we turn around. Always got to remember to turn around and have a look at these views. They're really special. But more importantly, this marks the 2300 point from Cape Rianga, 2300 kilometers from Cape Rianga. Yay! Very windy. And here's the prize. Another fantastic view. Looks like some scree scopes to negotiate coming up. 1480 is the elevation. And that's getting up there, because not very often we've been that high on Tiararoa. So, um, Getting a bit windy, quite cold, not going to stay here too long. But that is beautiful. Stunning! First scree slope, slope negotiated, and this is the view. We're completely out of nowhere, we have some horses. Would you believe it? Today's had it. And just a beautiful view of the mountain in the background there. Just coming into view. Been good progress today. It's gone two o'clock. It's been a hard day today. And it's beautiful. And another wonderful view looking to the right as we come over past the little hill there. We have a little junction ahead. And I presume that is to the double hill hut, maybe. Luke and I came over the saddle just there, probably about three hours ago now, and over all those three slopes, through the tussock, and down into this little plateau. And 
we have made it to Manuka Hut. That was a tough day. <laughs> this is Manuka Hut. And there's spare bunks, because only Emma and Zoe are staying here. And this is young Max from... The Netherlands. From Netherlands, who met Luke when Luke first arrived in the country. Is that right? Yeah. Cool. And they've just reunited today. Ooh. About three minutes ago. Yeah. Cool. But Max isn't staying. He's going northbound and maybe he's heading staying. on. I'm not sure oh, maybe, maybe Max is staying. He might change his mind. Well, I just saw my friend again. Oh, yeah. So um, we'll have a recap later. And you can tell us all about the 63 river crossings and those horrible holes on the way up. <laughs> Tea time in the Manuka hut. Let's have a recap on today. What was today like, guys? Amazing. Good day, but it was tough, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. And what were the worst things about today? Um, well, very sharp clams that I didn't yes. know existed in New Zealand. Yeah. Quite a range, didn't mm. we? From thistles, gorse, very, very spiky ones. I don't know what they yeah. were. Um, and also cutty grass, so that was fun. Mm. Um, we had random holes in the tussle. Random holes were tough. Um, that's one of the first things. You said that when we first came in, we totally agreed with you because we discussed that as well, Luke yeah. and I. Mm. So, so cool yeah. and, and what? Just... What about the mice? Oh, the mice. So last night, I left my snacks in the top of my pack, as I have done every single day on the TA so far. And I got this morning, opened the lid, pulled out the snacks, and some fell out of the plastic bag. And I thought, that's not how I left those. And when I put on the light, I realised that both plastic bags had been chewed by a mouse. Little buggers, eh? Mouse. That's no good. How's your day, Luke? Good. Good? What was the best part of it? Uh, coming over the saddle. The very first saddle? Yeah. And Luke kept reminding me actually, he said, oh, look at that view, look at that view. And I've got my head down half the time and I miss them. So it's really, really good. So this is the Manuka hat. And there's seven people in tonight at the moment. Don't think we'll get any more in tonight. I said that last night and three turned up at 10.30. So um, two um, Czech Republic people turned up around about an hour ago. They've just finished eating. And um, all seven of us are going southbound. So today was a good day. It was a tough day. There was lots of variability to it, lots of elevation. And um, 63 river crossings, according to Zoe, because she counted them all. And, and then a bit of an undulation through Tussock. And finally a, a flat walk through a plateau with some amazing views, some really spectacular views. So a really, really good day, um, but a tough day. Um, and that was day 105. Day 106, we'll be walking out to the Rangitata River, and that's been deemed a hazard area as well, um, as in the previous, the Rakaia River, just previously, a couple of days ago. And as, as a result, it's no longer part of Tiararoa, which is a very sensible move. Um, it takes the element of, um, of doubt. Someone was rescued a couple of days ago, so it means that we basically get to Lake Clearwater and Potts Bridge, and then we get lifted down to Geraldine tomorrow night, and then the next day lifted back to the other side of the river to restart Tiaradora. And that will be day 106 tomorrow. But beautiful little, um, getting bitten by some here, so I won't waffle on too long. Um, beautiful little surrounds to this hut. And um, yeah, that was day 105.